Good day everyone. So today I got live demo unit of the Samsung mobile phone model A73 5G, Galaxy A73 5G. This is the live demo unit and the live demo unit usually comes without IME numbers. We cannot use SIM card with this mobile phone. So the one that I have in my hands is actually a live demo unit and uh, i mean numbers injected in this mobile phone also this mobile phone got cp id and i can use this mobile phone with a sim card without any issues without any trouble in my country now here i would like to inform you that current my mobile phone is, uh, is cp id doesn't matter the, the cp id will never get removed if you are flushing any custom rom or if you are flushing stock firmware back on the mobile phone but make sure that the mobile phone is actually CPID. If the mobile phone is auto patch, root patch, then there will be a trouble if you flash the stock firmware on the mobile phone. The auto patch will get removed and the SIM card will not, will not work anymore. This live demo unit, sometime you will see that it will have a problem or it will have a trouble updating it. Sometimes the mobile phone will show all ways that the software is up to date but the mobile phone is having an oldest firmware it will not get OTA update. So mostly live demo units will show this type of error not getting update. How to update the CPID phone or the live demo unit or any Galaxy variant you have like Europe variant, USA variant if you are not getting any OTA update let me show how to do that in my case i have live demo unit and mobile phone is not getting update every time i tap the software update it will show the software is up to date but still my mobile phone is having all this firmware one ui 4.21 and android 12 and galaxy a73 is having latest firmware that is one ui 6.21 android 14 but before downloading firmware we need to check the CSC code. Always download the correct version or correct region firmware accordingly to the mobile phone CSC code. If you go to the software information after tapping the about phone, here you will see the service provider software version. In my case, I have A736B and the CSC code is the three alphabets that is O W O. Now I will download the stock firmware of that region which will have csc o w o right i will not go for any other csc code check the csc code always on your mobile phone then download the stock region firmware accordingly now let me take you to my computer screen link provided in my video description you will click the link and this website will get open a736 b Galaxy A73 5G. Tab, uh, click to select the mobile phone. Then come down here and you will see uh, region firmware. This is the Asia, the Europe, North America, South America and Africa. My mobile phone that I have live demo unit is belongs to the North America, South America or maybe Africa. Now how to check the CSC code. If I open the any other region firmware of the Asia, like for example, if I click on India. The India website will get open. Come down here you can see that INS stand for India region. Click on the last firmware that was released from the Samsung. You can check the date. Click on this firmware version then go down scroll down and here you will see CSC which is ODM. If I try to flash this India region firmware on my uh, Galaxy A73 which have a CSC OWO, it will not get flash. It will get error every time you try to flash. Okay. So I will go now on my downloaded main downloaded page. And then this time I will click North America like this one, right? And then again I will go here, will click the latest uh, stock firmware going down and you can see that csc o w o so you can download the stock firmware any stock region firmware which have the same csc code the one you have then you will not have any error or any issues during flashing the firmware on your mobile phone so this is what the firmware that i'm going to download right click any link here and the rom will start downloading so here is my downloaded folder 
let me tell you that if you haven't installed the samsung usb android driver then you need to search on the google download the samsung android usb driver the latest one and install it on your windows so the windows will detect the mobile phone easily so we have to download the ordin 3.14.1 also and this is the firmware gto the csc code is owo i have downloaded already on, uh, in, on my computer hard drive so after downloading we have to extract the ordin first 3.14.1 right extract the ordin first and then extract the firmware also i have already extracted both files over here so just open the extracted folder of the firmware you will see bunch of files over here to save the time we need to rename the files that uh, like first one second one third one and fourth one ap bl cp and csc just click on the first file press f2 then erase the last like come to the end of the file name erase the dot md5 so the file name is supposed to be file name and then the extension is extension is supposed to be dot tar so it will save the time selecting it in the ordin uh, software right and same way you have to do other files also like selecting the bl pressing f2 erasing the dot md5 file extension is supposed to be dot tar then do it with the cp file starting from the cp select the file press f2 erase the dot md5 and just leave the file extension is dot tar same thing do it with the file name starting with the csc well after doing the renaming thing go back to the downloaded folder open the extracted folder of the ordin then double click the ordin click ok on this pop up window and the ordin will open and the, or on the ordin screen click the first slot bl go to your downloaded folder then select the firmware file starting from the bl double click the file to select it then click ap and uh, go to your downloaded folder select the file starting from the ap by double clicking on it then uh, click cp slot again select the file starting from the cp by double clicking on it then click csc go to your downloaded folder select the file starting from the csc by double clicking on it now coming back towards the mobile phone now we have to do few things which are very important before flashing there is no need to unlock the bootloader of the mobile phone if you are trying to flash the stock firmware on your mobile phone right i i hope you got my point first of all you need to save all the internal storage data let me tell you that flashing a stock firmware or flashing a custom firmware will erase all the data every time and always go for the neat and clean flashing to avoid any errors any lag later on right so must save the data check the mobile phone battery supposed to be charged so the mobile phone can get the rom easily then go to settings tap the lock screen and select swipe as a screen lock to turn it off and then go to the accounts and backup in case if you are using samsung account sync your samsung account if you want then remove it to avoid any issues same way sync your google account once remove it to avoid any issues later on right if you have done all these things simply power off the mobile phone always use a good quality of data cable now we need to boot the mobile phone into ordin mode the mobile phone is supposed to be power off properly then hold the mobile phone press and hold the volume up key volume down key connect the cable with the mobile phone you in a few seconds you will see a warning screen release both keys i got the warning screen i have released both keys the volume up key and volume down key on the warning screen press the volume up key once to boot the mobile phone into ordin mode press the volume up key once to light up the screen the phone is booted into ordin mode connected already with the computer and on my computer screen ordin already detected the mobile phone just click start so the flashing will start it and it will take a time now we have to wait over here the flashing is about to be done 
when flashing done the mobile phone will restart automatically and the ordin will show pass when you see pass message you can exit the ordin and you can disconnect the cable when you see samsung logo on the mobile phone now all we have to do is to wait the mobile phone will start booting to the stock firmware very soon and we are done from the computer finally the first boot completed complete the setup screen so i have got the latest firmware on my mobile phone when it was not getting update now manually updating it so i got the latest firmware we'll go to about phone then we'll go to software information so i got now one ui 6.1 which was before one ui 4.1 and now i got android 14 which was before android 12 and the build number if you can see i got the latest stock firmware on my mobile phone let me show the service provider software version same csc code which is o w o now let me insert sim card to make sure that this the cpid is remain there and the sim card will be working well you can see that i got both sim card on my mobile phone same mobile phone a73 5g live demo unit cpid approved and uh, both sim card both network is coming on my mobile phone you can see volte is also working and uh, i can make a call i can receive call i can use a mobile data so the mobile phone the live demo unit cpid mobile phone got updated without any trouble it was simple way to update the mobile phone thank you so much for watching the video and do not forget to like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't heard we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye